people use lame excuses to chicken out and to avoid doing thing, doing things or avoid responsibility. What do I mean by this? Um, I had a coworker earlier today at work. You know, I'm not. We're gonna call him Bobby. You know, I'm not gonna drop personal names. We're gonna call him Bobby. And um, you know, it was like three hours, like three and a half, maybe almost four hours before we were supposed to clock out. And um, he was like, he came up to me, he's like, hey man, uh, I think I'm gonna go home early. I was like, you good? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. It's just my shoulder hurts, you know? And, and um, I don't want it to get any worse and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, eh, you know, whatever. You know I mean? That's your choice, you wanna leave, go ahead. But why use a lame excuse, you know? Why can't you just be real? Like, I, I don't wanna be here, you know? I just, I'm, I'm tired, I'm, I'm feeling lazy, I don't wanna do this right now. You know, why can't you be real? You know, people be using lame excuses to chicken out, you know? Or it's like when somebody's at the gym, you know, and they say that they have a messed up wrist or a messed up leg so they can't go as hard on the weights, you know, and they're like, oh, that's it. I'm done for now. Like, bro, how do you expect to how do you expect to work those muscles up? How do you expect to get those muscles back up and in shape and back to how they were before? If you don't ever if you don't put in the work, you got to put in that work to um, get back to how you were and progress even further than you were before. You know, you can't. You can't progress anywhere without being lazy, you know. You can't progress anywhere by um, making up bullcrap excuses, you know. And it's just, it's funny to me, the amount, the things that you hear, you know, the excuses that you hear from people, oh, my shoulder hurts, so I'm going to go home early, or, oh, I got a messed up ankle, so I can't squat as much on uh, weights, you know, I can't run as much on uh, the treadmill, or, I can't bench as much because my arm hurts, and it's just, it's goofy to me, honestly, you know, and um, either, I'm going to say this right now, either speak English or get up out of here, man, because I don't understand a single word that is, all I know is that it looks maybe German, that's all I know, and also, this episode is brought to y'all by Great Value, Great Value Root Beer, not really, I'm not sponsored by them, I wish I was, but hey, who knows, maybe one day, but let me tell y'all something, man, Great Value Root Beer be smacking, like, y'all may think that it's not, not as good as, like, Bard's root beer or something, but it do be smacking. Mmm. Ooh. I haven't had a good good root beer in a minute. But, yeah, man, it's just, it's goofy to me, the, the amount of excuses that I hear. You know, even the top G was like, you know, y'all use excuses because you're lazy, you know. Y'all don't want to admit the fact that y'all lazy. You know, if I was lazy, I would be like, yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I don't want to do this. You know, I'm too tired. I don't want to do lazy. But no, I mean, I just, I literally just got off work. I haven't even settled in yet. And guess what? I got right up on here. And I'm doing these episodes for y'all, man. Because I, I be wanting to spit that game for y'all, y'all know. So, you know, when people use excuses all the time, just understand that those people, their laziness is going to end up rubbing off of you. And um, get up out of here, Goofy. But um, their laziness is going to end up rubbing off on you, and uh, you're going to become lazy too, and then you're going to wonder why you are degressing and not progressing, you know, so it's like every now and then you got to check and see who's around you, you know, do I have lazy people around me, or do I have successful people around me, do I have monsters around me, or do I have depressed people around me who don't feel like they want to do anything in life, you know, so just watch out for the people that are around you, watch out for the excuses that people be using, because a lot of times they're lazy, they're bullcrap excuses, and they and they're not they're not valid excuses. And look, everybody left because they all got offended. But guess what? I don't care. You know, I'm here for the I'm here to speak facts to the people that stay here. You know, if it's just one person, guess what? It's a it's a private lesson. I don't care. You know, bye, goofy, get up out of here. You know, they get mad because I'm speaking facts, and it and it strikes a chord with them. You know why? Because they're, they're doing the exact same things that I am talking about. They're being lazy. They're making up excuses. They don't want to do anything. You know. They don't want to have any accountability for why they're not doing anything. They want to, they want to, um, they just want to sit around and do nothing. And they want to snap their fingers and expect them to have a million dollars in their bank account, or have a ripped body, you know, tight abs, tight biceps, you know, ripped legs. And it's like it don't work like that, you know. You have to put in the work for it. You can't just sit on, sit around all day, and expect someone to just magically come down and be like, oh, here you go. Here's a million dollars, you know, or here you go. Oops, I just gave you a brand new body. You got huge muscles. You got tight abs. Like, no, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. You got to get up and work for it yourself. Because if, if everybody could um, 
just pick it up off the floor and have a ripped body. If everybody could just pick up a million dollars off the floor and be rich, there wouldn't be any value in it. You know, if everybody could just pick up the keys to a 2022 Mustang code red, uh, it wouldn't have any value to it. You know, that's why you got to work for it because when you work for it, you put in the hard work, you appreciate it more, you know, um, that's why I feel like, you know, people that are born with silver spoons in their mouth, they don't appreciate the things that they have because they don't have to work for it. It just got handed to them, you know, whereas people who are, who grew up broke, you know, people who grew up struggling, when they get that car that they've been wanting, when they get that house they've been wanting, when they get the amount of money they've been wanting in their bank account, when they've been grinding towards it, you know, they appreciate it a whole lot more because they understand the value that it has because they never had it before. Hey, what's good? Uh, Miles, Miles and Jesse, shout out to Wyoming, man. Tap the follow and the bell button if you like what you see and like what you hear. Um, what's good, Maki? Appreciate you for tapping there. But yeah, man, it's just like, uh, how can you hate on someone with no idea of not having, um, mods, go ahead and get them up out of here. Bye-bye, Goofy. Bye-bye. Bye, Goofy. There we go. Bye-bye. Yep. You mad. You can't even speak now, but now nah, you good. Um, you tapped in, like, right, like, I guess kind of towards the end. But, I mean, you know, when people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they don't appreciate the things that they have. You know, like, they don't appreciate that, that fast car that they have. They don't appreciate that BMW or that Benz or whatever the case may be that they have, you know. And, um, but the people who are, who come up broke, you know, the people who didn't have anything and, who actually work for it is that they want, you know, they appreciate what they get a lot more because they understand the value behind it, you know. So <clears throat> when you when you use a lame excuse to, to chicken out or not even chicken out, but just to back out of something, dude, to me, it's just like, bro, come on now. And even I struggle with laziness sometimes, you know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect with it. I struggle with it. But, you know, the best thing that you got to do is just, you know, kick, kick your mind, kick yourself in the butt, kick your mind in the butt, you know. Just give it that good swift kick and get it in the gear and get going on whatever it is you need to do. The best way to stop procrastinating is to turn off the TV, turn off the social media, whatever it is that's keeping you from sitting down, you know, whatever it is that's keeping you from doing what you need to do. And just get up and do it, you know. Turn on some music. Turn on whatever music you like listening to. Whatever, turn on whatever music motivates you and get up and start doing whatever it is you need to do and be productive, you know. That's something that I'd be, that I'd be struggling with every now and then too. But, you know, when you hear it from somebody else, it's like, wow they 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 understand like my mindset and they're t they're trying to help me out you know so i hope whoever hears this you know i hope y'all can get some value <clears throat> get some value out of this excuse me just uh, ignore that ignore that uh ignore that voice crap but i hope whoever hears this you know whoever any any new people that come in here you know whoever hears this and even to regulars you know i hope y'all can get some kind of value out of this because you know you can't snap your fingers and have a million dollars in your bank account you can't snap your fingers and be ripped you know you can't snap your fingers and have a a, a bugatti or a ferrari or a lamborghini or whatever car it is that you want you know so just get up put in the work you know it's not going to happen overnight obviously you know it happens over time but the more you do it the closer you get to that goal so just remember that man lame excuses are always people who use lame excuses are always going to be pushed to the back and they're never going to go anywhere so get up get off your butt kick your mind in the gear put on some of that motivating music that you like listening to and just do it you know just like Shia LaBeouf said just do it he said don't let your dreams be dreams he said yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it man that's facts man just do it do it square business man just do it you, the only person that can do it for you is you so you got to put yourself in that mindset you know i've been thinking earlier you know man i'm i'm stuck living the, I, i'm tired of living the way i am you know so i got to i got i, I got to work on whatever it is that i'm working towards so i can get out of living in the same cycle you know but guess what ain't nobody going to be able to do that for me except for me so i have to get up i got to kick my mind into gear i got to get up and do whatever it is that i got to do and do it you know no it's not going to happen overnight it may not happen in the next month or the next year but guess what Every single time you get up and you do whatever it is that you're supposed to do, you take that extra step to getting closer to where it is that you want to be, you know? So only you can do anything for you, you know? Only you can do whatever, you can, only you can strive for whatever it is that you want to do. So with that being said, man, 
um, people that use lame excuses, you know, if they're, like, real close to you, you can check them on it, you know, like, bro, you know, thought you wanted to do this, thought you wanted to do that, so get up and do it, you know, but if they're just, like, regulars, you know, just cut them off, because that laziness will rub off on you, trust me, I know, uh, with my old roommates, and I tell y'all right now, they're, they're lazy in this, and they're rubbing off on me for a while, you know, it took me a while to get out of that cycle, but, I mean, I did, once I moved out, you know, once you, once you get out of those environments, then you realize, dang, you know, your environments really do be impacting you and affecting you. So watch out for the environments that you be in. Watch out for the energy that you be around, too. You know, 